Well, aren't you guys lucky? You get me in my bum attire today. Well, that is because we are not filming a review today. We are filming a book chat. We're gonna talk about new releases, upcoming releases, and sales. Can you believe it? I am actually doing a video that is not a book review. I know, it's crazy. And that bookshelf tour is coming, I promise. I'm planning on filming that this week. Bookshelf tours take a lot of time to film because I have to take each book out one by one, set it aside, talk about it, and then I have to edit it in between so it's not all chippy choppy. Unless you guys want it to be a pretty raw bookshelf tour, which is totally fine, but you're gonna see my hand, you know, popping in and out, you know, grabbing books and whatnot and shoving them back in. So if you're okay with that, then I'm totally game for doing it within the next couple of days. But if you guys want it to be nice and neat and tidy, like I've seen many bookshelf tours be, then it is gonna take a few days for me to edit that and it's also gonna take me a while to record it because I have a lot of books. Not as many as I've seen, but it's a decent amount. So I figured we'd just, you know, keep it casual and chat. So I'm in my tool shirt. I'll amend to that statement. This was my husband's tool shirt and then I stole it. And I'm also in, I don't know if you guys can see this, I'm in my unicorn pajamas. Uh, I'm obviously not wearing the top half of these pajamas, but they got little unicorns on them. And uh, no, I have not tried the unicorn frappuccino, nor do I want to because just looking at it kind of makes me gag a little bit and I've heard it tastes like a creamsicle, which I really, really despise. I cannot stand the taste of a creamsicle. So please do not ask me if I've tried the unicorn frapp. I have not. Okay, so this is gonna be a video that's sort of acting as an experiment. I wanna see if you guys like this sort of thing. Um, if you do, then I'm gonna put these up once a month where there's sort of a book recap where we talk about new releases, upcoming releases, and sales. I'm obviously not gonna be touching base on all of them because there are just so many but I'm gonna be talking about the ones that I'm excited about, the ones that I think you guys will be excited about. Some of them I have read, some of them I have not, and we'll go through a quick recap of the blurb, and we will move on. So let me know in the comments below, guys, if this is something that you really enjoy seeing. And of course, I'm always looking for new material to put on the channel. I'm trying to be much more active and much more interactive with you guys in terms of not just putting up book reviews. I'd rather my channel not become as stagnant. But just let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and what other types of videos you would like to see other than book reviews. And with that being said, let's get into the bookish goodness. So you're gonna be seeing me looking down at my phone a lot just so I can um, you know, keep track of everything. Obviously making a list of everything doesn't help because I'm not gonna be able to see the blurb of everything. So let's start off with new releases. The first of which is Revelry by Candy Steiner. That is actually released today, although today is the 20th as I'm filming this, so happy release day, Candy Steiner. It's also worth noting that it's been less than 24 hours since Revelry has been released, and it's already cracking the Amazon top 100, which is incredible. So let's get into the blurb of Revelry. Ren Ballard is trying to find herself. She never expected to be divorced at 27, but now that the court date has passed, it's official. The paperwork is final. Her feelings on it aren't. Spending the summer in a small mountain town outside Seattle is exactly what she needs. The peaceful scenery is a given, the cat with the croaky meow is a surprise, but the real kicker? A broody neighbor with nice arms, a strange reputation, and absolutely no interest in her. Anderson Black is perfectly fine being lost. He doesn't care about the town's new resident. He's too busy fighting his own demons. But when he's brought face to face with Ren, he can still see her still fresh wounds from a mile away. What he doesn't see coming is his need to know who put them there, or his desperation to mend them. Sometimes getting lost is the way to find yourself. Sometimes healing only adds a new scar. And sometimes the last place you expect it to be is exactly where you find home. So I have read this book. I actually finished it a few days ago. My review is up on Goodreads and Amazon. And I really, really enjoyed this book. Now the last book that I read by Candy Steiner, which I also believe was her last release, was A Love Letter to Whiskey. If you guys saw my Favorites of 2016 video, I will link that up here in the card. Uh, that was my third favorite book of the entire year. It was an angst fest, totally insane 
how obsessed you get with that book when you read it. And this one is much less intense. This one is more of a heartfelt, very heartwarming, very inspiring read, but it's nowhere near as intense or angsty as A Love Letter to Whiskey was. So you don't have to be intimidated by this one. I know a lot of people are intimidated to read A Love Letter to Whiskey because of everything that they've been hearing about it. But this one is more of a sweet, very inspiring read. It's all about forgiveness and personal growth and personal freedom. And I highly recommend recommend it. I mean, come on, it's reached the top 100 in Amazon so far and it hasn't even been released for 24 hours yet. So it is an amazing book. So by the way, The Hot Shot by Kristen Callahan is live. I put up my review for it, I believe a couple days early. It released on the 18th and I want to say I put up my video review on the 16th? So if you guys watched my video review and you were like, damn it, it's still on pre-order, I haven't gotten it yet, get it now. That is definitely in my top three reads of 2017. It's so good. I mean, Kristen Callahan never fails me, but I immediately bought the paperback for it. He is right here. I will show you. Here is Handsome Finn in all his physical paperback glory. I'm so happy this is matte too. I love matte book covers. What do you guys think? Do you guys prefer glossy book covers or matte book covers? I prefer matte book covers. You can't really see fingerprints as much and whenever I see a fingerprint on a glossy one, I just want to wipe it off because I just, I'm anal like that about the books. But here he is and he is live. So go check out Finn and Chess. Their story is amazing. This is definitely one of my favorite in the series. I'd say right next to the hookup, it is that good. Next up is The Housemate by Kendall Ryan, and this one came out on the 17th, and this is another roommate romance. Now, I mentioned to you guys in my last video that I think 2017 is all about the roommate romances. A couple of years ago, it was all about the stepbrother romance, a few years before that, it was naturally all about the BDSM romance because of Fifty Shades of Grey and the whole hype behind that. And this year, I think it's just all about the roommate trope, which is totally fine. I mean, it's a really intriguing trope, but I'm just seeing it all the time now. And Kendall Ryan, I have not read her yet, although I do have some of her books on my Kindle, so I probably should get on that, but I never have enough time for any of the books on my TBR anymore. <laughs> Who knows when I'll be able to get to the hundreds of books I have on my TBR list. Alright, so the blurb. What's sexier than a bad boy? A badass man who's got his shit together. Max Alexander is nearing 35. He's built a successful company and he's conquered the professional world, but he's never been lucky in love. Focusing so much time on his business and raising his daughter, adulting has come at the expense of his personal life. His social skills are shit, his patience is shot, and at times his temper runs hot. The last thing he has time for is the recently single, too gorgeous for her own good young woman he hires to take care of his little girl. Oh, so it's a nanny romance. Oh, that's interesting. She's a distraction he doesn't need. And besides, there's no way she'd be interested. But you know what they say about assumptions. So this is book three in the Roommate series, but each book can be read as a complete standalone as they all feature new couples to fall in love with. So even though this is a third book in the series, you don't have to read the other ones to get what's happening in the third one. This does sound really intriguing though because it does put a bit of a twist on the whole roommate thing because it's a nanny thing. It's the nanny romance thing which I'm intrigued but at the same time I'm like I don't know how I feel about that but I'll probably one click it and give it a shot. Okay we're gonna do uh, two more new releases and then I'm gonna move on to upcoming releases and then I'll move on to a couple of sales because I'm already running on almost 20 minutes. So the next one is Damnable Grace by Tilly Cole, and this is one of the installations of the Hades Hangman series. I have heard so much about this series, and I have never read any of them. I am kind of iffy on MC romances, um, not entirely sure why, but I've heard nothing but amazing things about the Hades Hangman series. I believe my co-blogger Trish is a really, really big fan of the Hades Hangman series. But then again, she loves MC romances. She's crazy about them. 
but um, I've heard a lot of people talk about this. Okay, so I'm not gonna get into the blurb because the blurb is very, very long. So instead, I'm just gonna have the Amazon link listed down below, which I will have for all of the books that I mentioned here. And you can check out the blurb at your own convenience because I'd be sitting here for like 10 minutes um, not 10 minutes, but you know what I mean. It's a long blurb and it takes up a lot of time to read. But this one is live, it released on April 16th. The last one that I'm gonna be talking about is Fallen Crest Home by Tijan Meyer. I have not read this series yet, but I've heard nothing but good things. This is book six in the Fallen Crest series. I think this is new adult. Um, and I think the cover is so, so pretty. Um, all of the covers in this series are actually really nice. So let's read the blurb because this one is only a few sentences. It's been years since my mother was in my life. I healed, I learned to accept love, I lived. That's all done. She was away and now she's back. I avoided her for a year and a half, but I couldn't hide anymore. Mason had an internship in Fallen Crest, so we headed back for the summer. And when we got there, no one was prepared for what happened. Now, it says that this is a full-length novel, and obviously that is the sixth in the Fallen Crest series, but I have no idea if this is a standalone or not. Something tells me that it's not, um, but if any of you guys know, please let me know in the comments below if this is, in fact, a standalone novel. Okay, so let's get into upcoming releases. These are books that have not released yet, but will be probably within the next couple of months. Okay, the first one is Mr. Romance, Masters of Love, Book One by Lisa Raven. It has been a long time since I've read a Lisa Raven book. Uh, back when I read Wicked Heart, actually, that was about exactly a year ago. I loved Bad Romeo and Broken Juliet. I always get the names of those mixed up for some strange reason. I don't know why, but I love her writing and I adored Wicked Heart. That book was so good. And this one is an all new series and I'm really excited. It's gonna be out on April 30th. So just a few more days to wait for this one, just a little over a week and uh, Mr. Romance will be live. Max Riley is the man of your dreams, or at least he will be for a price. As his alter ego, Mr. Romance, Max is a drop-dead gorgeous escort who makes romantic fantasies come to life. No sex, just swoon-worthy dates to die for, and the cream of New York socialites can't get enough. Whether they want a dominating billionaire, bad boy with a heart of gold, hot geek, sexy biker, or best friend who loves them from afar, Max can make it all happen but he's careful to keep his real identity a secret. Enter investigative journalist Eden Tate. Having caught wind of the urban legend of Mr. Romance from a love-struck client, Eden is determined to publish a scathing expose on Max and his ability to swindle lonely society women out of their fortunes. Desperate to protect his anonymity and his clients, Max challenges Eden to give him three dates. If she doesn't fall in love with him, she can run her story with his blessing. If she succumbs to his charms, the story dies. Cynical Eden has no doubt she can resist his fake romance personas, but when the real Max admits he's falling for her, she has to decide if the professional liar is telling the truth or if the passionate man with the mysterious past is just one more character designed to con her out of the career-making story. Yes, one click now. I am so pre-ordering this. I didn't pre-order it before, to be honest. I didn't even read the blurb. I just saw, oh, Lisa Raven's coming out with a new novel. I should get that. I just pre-ordered this. I one-clicked this bad boy. If that blurb did not sell you, I don't know what will. That blurb was so good. It's like, it got my heart pumping a little bit. I was like, oh, this sounds like a book I would really like. I can't wait to review this one, guys. It sounds so good. I hope it's as good as the blurb sounds. Okay, and I'm really excited for this next one. It is The Queen and the Cure by Amy Harmon. If you guys remember, The Bird and the Sword rocked my world in 2016. I have such a weakness for fantasy. That was the original book genre that I read. Um, I started out with fantasy and then I didn't start reading romance until I was about 21-ish. This book just completely owned me. This book owned me and it was so good and I'm so happy that this one is coming out. The cover is beautiful. And this one will be out on May 9th, 2017. So just a little bit of time, couple of weeks. It will be worth the wait though. And you bet your damn ass I'm gonna be reading it because how can I not? There will be a battle and you will need to protect your heart. I don't know if I'm pronouncing this name right. Kajel, Kel of Cheru had always known who he was. He would never envied his brother or wanted to be king. He was the bastard son of the late King Zoltev 
and a servant girl, and the ignominy of his birth had never bothered him. But there is more to a man than his parentage, more to a man than his blade, his size, or his skills, and all that Kel once knew has shifted and changed. He is no longer simply Kel of Jeru, a warrior defending the crown. Now he is a healer, one of the gifted, and a man completely at odds with his power. Called upon to rid the country of the last vestiges of the Volgar, Kel stumbles upon a woman who has troubling glimpses of the future and no memory of the past. Armed with his unwanted gift and haunted by regret, Kel becomes a reluctant savior, beset by old enemies and new expectations. With the woman by his side, Kel embarks upon a new journey where the greatest test may be finding the man she believes him to be. I mean, come on. How are you not sold by that blurb? How can anybody not be sold by that synopsis? That is just calling to the fantasy lover in me. The original book nerd in me is just like, give me, please give me. I cannot wait. Can't wait, guys. Can't wait. Okay, the next one is going to be When It's Real by Aaron Watt. Aaron Watt, the pseudonym under the collaboration of Jen Frederick and L. Kennedy, otherwise known as the authors of The Destroyer of Souls and of Worlds, the authors of the Royal series, Paper Princess, Broken Prince, and Twisted Palace. This is going to be another new adult novel, I believe. I, I don't think it's YA. If it is, I'll read it anyway, even though I'm particularly not a YA person. Aaron Watt's probably the only author that I would read a YA from. So let's read the blurb. Under ordinary circumstances, Oakley Ford and Vaughn Bennett would never even cross paths. There's nothing ordinary about Oakley. This bad boy pop star's got Grammy awards, millions of fangirls, and a reputation as a restless, too charming troublemaker. But with his home life disintegrating, his music while suddenly running dry, and the tabloids having a field day over his outrageous exploits, Oakley needs to show the world he's settling down and who better to help him than Vaughn, a part-time waitress trying to help her family get by. The very definition of ordinary. Posing as his girlfriend, Vaughn will overhaul Oakley's image from troublemaker to serious artist, in return for enough money to put her brothers through college. She can endure outlandish Hollywood parties and carefully orchestrated Twitter exchanges. She'll fool the paparazzi and the groupies. She might even start fooling herself a little, because when ordinary rules no longer apply, there's no telling what your heart will do. So yeah, of course I'm gonna read this. So we still have well over a month for this one, but man, is it gonna be worth the wait. Okay, and the last upcoming release that I'm gonna be talking about because I'm running on 35 minutes here is going to be Captain by Lauren Rowe. Ball Peen Hammer rocked my world in 2016. That was the book that took me by surprise out of all of the books that I read last year. That one I never saw coming. I was never prepared for Ball Peen Hammer and I'm really excited about Captain. I'm so nervous because Keen still holds such a big part of my heart, but I think I can make room for one more Morgan brother and I shall. So Captain will be out on May 15th. The blurb is as follows. It wasn't the way this kind of story was supposed to go. Insta-love isn't supposed to turn into insta-hate. But that's exactly what happened when the hottest hell dreamboat I met in a bar turned out to be a lying, cheating, scumbag player douche looking for nothing but a little side action. Jerk. And he has the nerve to call me a liar and a sociopath? Asshole. And now, three months later, through a mind-blowing series of events I couldn't have predicted in a million years, it turns out my boss is marrying his sister in Hawaii and I've got to play nice with him for an entire freaking week. Okay, sure, I'll put on a happy face this week and act like I've never even met the jerk before. Did I mention his sister is marrying my boss? But that doesn't mean I'll like it, and it certainly doesn't mean I'll stop secretly hating the cocky bastard's guts. Because I do. I hate him. I really do. I just wish my brain would explain the situation to my body, because every time he flashes that panty-melting smile at me, it takes all of my self-restraint not to jump the bastard's hot as fuck bones. <laughs> Sorry. For fans of Ball Peen Hammer and the Club series, please know Captain features Ryan Morgan and takes place one year before the events of Ball Peen Hammer. It also includes characters from Ball Peen Hammer and the Club series, so Captain is a complete standalone with no prior reading required. Okay, and really quickly, I'm gonna go through sales. I'm not gonna be reading the blurbs of the books that are on sale. I'm just gonna be listing the title of the book, the author and the current sale price. Hey, so Paper Princess, speaking of Aaron Watt, 
Paper Princess by Erin Watt is currently on sale for $1.99. If you have not read this book, please get on it. I will link my video review right up here in the card. It was terrible quality. That was well before I got my box light. The lighting is horrible, but you do get to see my pure raw emotion on what exactly that book did to me because it was intense. Intense. $1.99. Go get it now. The next one is Rare and Precious Things by Rain Miller. That is on sale for $2.99. I love Rain Miller. I haven't read Rare and Precious Things yet though. Dirty Girl by Megan March, which I have heard insanely good things about, is on sale for $0.99. Cents. We have Wicked Sexy Liar, Beautiful Bastard, and Beautiful Boss by Christina Loren, all on sale for $1.99 each. I have read Beautiful Bastard years ago, to tell you the truth, I can't remember what happened in that book. It was a long time ago, but this entire series, I have heard, is absolutely amazing. I believe when I read Beautiful Bastard, I really, really liked it. I just can't remember because that was way back when. Okay, Mudvayne by Taryn Fisher is on sale for 99 cents. That is a pretty freaking good deal and a book that I have been meaning to read. Possession by J.R. Ward. I know a lot of J.R. Ward fans. That one is on sale for $1.99. Come to Me Quietly by A.L. Jackson is currently 50% off. It Ain't Me Babe by Tilly Cole is on sale for $0.99. Cents. We have the first two books in the Crossfire series by Sylvia Day on sale. Bear to You is on sale for 70% off and Reflected in You is on sale for 40% off. And then two of my top favorite books are also on sale, Love Unscripted and Love Unrehearsed by Tina Rebert. They're both on sale. Love Unscripted, which is the first book, these books are a duet. You do have to read them uh, in order, in order to get what's going on. They're not standalones. Love Unscripted is $2.99 and Love Unrehearsed is $1.99. If you guys enjoyed this type of video, please let me know, I want to know. If this is something you guys want to see, you know, at the end of every single month, monthly recaps, um, upcoming books, sales, if you want them all in one video like this one is, or if you want them in separate videos, I am all ears. Please let me know, guys. And also let me know what videos you would like to see other than video reviews on this channel. I am all ears. That bookshelf tour is coming. I promise you. It just takes a little bit of time to record. It's also going to take me a long time to edit. So please be patient with me, guys. I promise it is coming. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I really hope you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you guys did like it. And I will see you guys later. Bye.